A recent study by a global auditing firm shows bribery and corruption have worsened in the country over the last two years. The survey covered 101 local firms and multinational companies. 42% of the companies claim they experienced fraud over the last two years, losing about 250 million pesos to over 2 billion pesos. Some say they were asked to pay Greece money, while others lost business opportunities because their competitors paid bribe to get ahead. In almost all of his engagements, President Duterte has strongly condemned corruption aside from drugs. There is the 888. You name the corrupt official, the transaction. If the state is threatening you, then tell me kung sino yan. At paluluhurin ko yan sa harap ninyo. Really, pakinggan ko sa kanya kung ano. Bakit nagkaganon? At kung makita ko may kasalanan, putang ina mo, maasahan mo talaga. Sasampalin ko yan sa harap ko. But Malacanang is blaming businessmen for the rampant bribery and corruption. Kaya nagkakaroon ng corruption because you're cooperating with the corrupt people. Malacanang urges businesses to come forward and make their voices heard. Do not complain of corruption when you yourselves are involved. Pag hindi kayo pumayag, as we have seen the title of my caricature, which is entitled The Money Eyes of Pinoy's, comma, Pilipinas. So, as you may see, the spelling of Pinoy's is weird and different from other all spelling of Pinoy's. P Noyes. P double -E -E -E. It stands for Filipino who always make noise, always makes troubles, and this literally means the noise from the end word of it, the noise, the trouble the Filipino make. As we have seen in the picture, which is a stack of menu which is gradually losing its size and amount, this means from higher position politicians who receive a much bigger amount of budget allocation that was supposed to help the citizens was being stolen by them and this because they were greedy politician and this made them to gain and benefit more from the advantage of the Filipino citizens the next one on the upper left corner which is the Daang Baliko Daang Baliko is the opposite of the famous line of a political party which is the Daang Matuwid These politicians were infamous for their pork barrel scams, corruptions, bribery, theft and this is ironic to their motto na Daang Matuwid At the center of my illustration, we can see the man which has obvious symbol of money in his eyes was cornered by these concerned citizens. They were ready to kill this man that only did was to do corruption and this alarmed this concerned citizens. Corruption here in the Philippines, examples of corruption includes graft, bribery, favoritism, nepotism, impunity, embezzlement, extortion, racketeering, fraud, tax evasion, lack of transparency, lack of sufficient enforcement of laws and government policies, and consistent lack of support for human rights. To sum up all of this, my caricature is all about corruption that is a significant obstacle to good governance in the Philippines. A review of recent literature suggests that all levels of corruption from petty bribery to grand corruption, patronage, and state capture exist in the Philippines at a considerable scale and scope. Significant efforts have been made to combat corruption which include putting in place legal institutional framework as well as efforts by civil society, organizations, and the media.